to dough number three. <laughs> the preacher man. <laughs> we met <laughs> at a Christian celibate New Year's Eve gathering. <laughs> and I, 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 I <laughs> was a celibate. <laughs> and he <laughs> was a preacher. So he said. And he had a beautiful Caribbean accent. Sometimes. And he knew the word of God. So, so does Satan. Satan. In the morning, I vaguely even remembered the incidents. I had no proof. It would have been my word against theirs. All I had was my my slightly faded youthfulness tarnished with dim, dirty thoughts of complete and utter violation. Could you just hold me? I just want you to hold me, please. Oh my God. Your face. Your face was so, so cold. It looked so hard. I didn't even recognize the man looking back at me. But I could hear your voice. And all I could hear you say is, I don't feel like holding you right now. As you turned your back, walked out of the bathroom and left me laying there in the fetal position. See, only God could take me from an Inglewood, California mentality and give me a United States, no, international vision. See, God knew I was thinking too small. Here I was with this powerful tool for evangelism and I'm trying to keep it in the family and he wants to bless the world. So let my pregnancy be your reminder. God desires to trust you with something way bigger than yourself. Don't you abort that baby.